gamekeeper, but uh, there was no jobs for gamekeeping, so um, my dad said, you've got to have a trade. So I decided to go down to Starbucks Slaughterhouse. Butcher's Block is very old. It used to be in, uh, in a butcher shop in Harrogate called Crofts, which was an old-fashioned butcher's. And uh, I would think it's about 50, 50 year old, maybe 60 year old. Yeah, it's very old. <laughs> we get our animals from a uh, live auction on a Monday. Um, it's, I think it's the best way because that's the best way to get the local meat from the local area which is about sort of a 40 mile radius to come from and uh, you get to know people there and you get to know how they feed the cattle and, and, and animals so it's, it's a good way of finding out how they're being looked after. If the animals are being well looked after you know it's going to be a good produce. Uh, they aren't going to be stressed out or anything like that. And, I think welfare of the animal is most important. Um, they haven't suffered anyway, they've had a good life, and I think that's the most important thing. My name's Wayne, uh, I've been working here about seven to eight years now. Uh, Originally I wanted to be a, a fireman but um, a job came up for my dad and uh, so I helped him out and I've been here ever since. Uh, and when, well I'm hopefully wanting to take over the shop when he finally decides to retire. There didn't a lot of young people coming into this business. In fact, there's a lot less than there used to be, you know, there used to be uh, a lot of young people coming into this, but I think it's uh, a fading sort of trade, really. We make uh, traditional pork, uh, Cumberland, uh, we make pork and leek, venison sausage in season, we do a tomato and basil. Good bit of meat right, is uh, yeah. uh, right. the colour, look for the colour. The problem is it's sort of a, if it's too bright red then it's, you can sort of tell with beef it's going to be tough. Okay, and I'll if it just sort of glides straight in, then you know it's going to be a tender piece of meat. And if it sort of doesn't, then you know it's going to be a tough one. But what usually, steak? We usually try all our sort of steaks when we get them, like cook a little bit, see what it's like, and then you know that it's going to be a good piece of meat to sell. The main thing's hanging meat. You don't hang pork. Pork wants eating up straight away. But uh, like your lamb wants hanging, your beef wants hanging. Like beef wants hanging up to four to five weeks, and your and your lamb are two to three weeks. But pork wants eating up straight away because it's uh, it's not an angleable meat, you know. It wants it's nearest to us. <laughs> Our customers like us because we sort of source local meat. I mean, they do do good stuff in supermarkets, but if you went to a supermarket and asked for certain sort of things, they probably wouldn't know what it was. And I think you're giving that service, you know, that personal service, really. And I think that's what people like. <laughs> <laughs>